When I was younger, I'd spend the weekends at my grandparents' house, and in their basement, they had a beautiful, big old fat TV set with a PS2 gathering dust below it. It belonged to my uncle, who sadly never left the comfort of his parents' basement. He never played games all that much, but he had an assortment of random titles strewn about next to the console. ATB off of Fury, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and Final Fantasy VII on PS1. I'd always been struck by this game's amazing cover art and the multiple discs, which I'd never really seen on a game. It just looked like an awesome adventure, and soon after, when I discovered Kingdom Hearts, I wanted to play it even more. My freshman year of high school, I got a PS2 Slim, which was capable of playing PS1 games, and I promptly stole the game from my uncle, which I still don't think he knows. I booted it up and was immediately hooked. Polygons be damned, I thought this game was absolutely beautiful, and it did the impossible of actually making me enjoy turn-based combat, a system that, up until that point, had bored me to tears. But it was hard not to get invested listening to the booming soundtrack and looking at the gloriously spiky cloud model with the buster sword. Each move was cool and flashy, I could watch Cloud do the cross slash limit break all day, and the materials system. I was absolutely floored by how customizable and unique the system was. And the story, filled with wonderfully charming characters, I found myself just so enamored with this game. I played to the end of disc 1, escaping Midgar, and getting to the City of the Ancients. And then that infamous scene began. Aerith looking up in horror as the one-winged angel descended upon her, 18 inches of Sephiroth in hand. And right before he makes impact into her frail little chest, it froze. The music was going, but the video just stopped. I waited. Maybe it's got a buffer or something. I don't f***ing know how PS1 disc work. Nothing. Okay, restart the game. Get the same thing. What the f***? I don't understand. Everything was all buttery smooth up until this point. I mean, it's not like the disc could be scratched and just randomly decide to not work in the game's final moment. Yes, yes, that's exactly what scratched PS1 discs do. Ah, thank you for clearing that up, Reddit. Okay, no problem. I watched the scene online to move on. Surely discs 2 and 3 will be okay. Discs 2 and 3 were not okay. As a matter of fact, they were scratched to all hell, and it wouldn't boot up at all. Okay, now I'm panicking. Yeah, I could just play the game on a modern console. This is 2014, and even back then, the full game was on my damn iPhone. But I just spent like six hours playing this, and you know, I love it, but yeah, I'm not doing this shit again. Also, I want to play on the PS1. I'm a traditionalist, goddammit. So I do some Googling. Insert disc 2, then take it out and put any other disc in. That'll work. I look no further. Thank you again, Reddit. It's working. Nice. I play a little, go up an elevator, but instead of showing Cloud go up the elevator, it shows Cloud inserting an orb into Sephiroth's chest, then cuts back to him standing in the elevator on another floor. I, I don't think that was supposed to happen, right? Or maybe this is just a Nomura mind fuck. Is Cloud losing his grip on sanity, seeing visions of his dark future played by Sephiroth himself at random intervals of time? No, that is not supposed to happen. The reason why these games are multiple discs are the cutscenes, which take up a lot of space. The full game is actually on all three of them, which is why this trick works, but the trade-off is that it will only play the cutscenes of the disc that you currently have inserted. Ah, well, okay. And so I forged ahead playing the game with my HP laptop queued up with the game's cutscenes next to me. And I played the entire remainder of the game like this until the very end. And as I laid the final attack onto beautiful, sexy shirtless Sephiroth, the game immediately immediately went to credits before the damn animation even finished. I watched the final scene on my computer, tearing up as I saw the return of Aerith, helping our hero in his final moments. Final Fantasy VII is already a memorable journey on its own, and despite this being the absolute worst way to experience this game, I found that it only added to it. Whether it was torrenting games that could barely run on my computer, or trying to make an emulator work, I spent so much time on projects like this when I was younger, and thinking back on it now, when my biggest worries in life were playing a game in some unorthodox manner, I'm happy. Also, it was just f***ing hilarious. Make more scratch disc type games. Thank you.